Blessings, everyone. This is Sandra. I wanted to speak briefly on something that I wrote about this week. I had an experience of uh, checking in with my fifth dimensional self, my ascended self, who is now inhabiting the beautiful new... Oh, goodness. Um, hold on a second. What are you doing down there, buddy? Sorry, there's a, there was a spider crawling across the snow, and... Um, I have a feeling he came in on my backpack, so I don't want to leave him hanging out in the snow. What are you doing there? Sorry. Um, I wanted to talk about this, this fifth dimensional parallel that I'm experiencing. So my fifth dimensional ascended Christ itself, who is uh, incarnating and, and not anymore, um, now it, it, it's more of a pull up. It used to be incarnating the higher self, and <laughs> look, he's hanging out on my flute now. Can you see that? Okay, focus. So my fifth dimensional expression that uh, is is experiencing the fifth dimensional uh, newly ascended Gaia. You know, a lot of us have those ascended expressions um, that made that transformation in December, and now we, uh, as gatekeepers, building the structures to to um, to ease humanity, uh, those choosing to ascend. And, and depending on what Gaia wants to do with the fourth dimensional expression, that might happen a lot, the merge might happen a lot faster uh, than we think. Um, I, still, I still think it's, it is, but in the meantime, it's available for, for those who are, who are ready for it, whose consciousness is, is prepared. Um, my ascended self is setting up, the, I found this fascinating, so I just wanted to share it. My higher self, ascended self, Christ itself, who is me, not a separate being. It's me, it's just a higher expression of me. Is setting up these, it's like a like welcome centers. Is that the right term? Uh, it's like an ascension gateway. It's the place you come to first when you walk through and there's like three, um, three facilities. One is uh, integration of the lower levels. I found that fascinating, I'm like, I'm teaching how to integrate the higher level, and you're teaching how to integrate the lower level, and eventually, we're all, you know, it's like these parallel um, expressions coming through, and, and there's integration of the, the of the of the body vehicle, you know, because we're taking our bodies with us. This hasn't been done before, and my my thing seems to be uh, show me the new stuff. You know, I always want to know what's what's the new, what what's going to be new, what's going to be needed. And, and the needed thing with this process is we've never been able to ascend with a body vehicle before. You know, the body vehicle is getting completely uh, uh, transformed into holding more and more light until you're able to just walk through. And when you walk through, the, the higher expression is, is that carbon silica structure. It still has some carbon, um, but it's, you're, you're integrating all that, that the body consciousness contained and all of the consciousness of that lower vibration. So as much as we on in, in this expression are, are pulling in our higher knowledge, uh, the, 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 the higher knowledge is, has to integrate the lower knowledge too. You know, it's, it ain't like we didn't learn nothing here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, the amount of, uh, of, of lessons, and tools and and things that maybe even things that we've forgotten about completely you know this is an entire planet with amnesia you know the things that we've forgotten about that that we we know we know but we we don't know them because we can't do them you know to, to know and not do is to not know at all so it's like okay now i need to remember everything that i learned in all of my in all of my journeys and it's not sitting down and, and doing a life review it's just an integration of the um, the stuff that's needed, you know, because a lot of the a lot of the akashic records just being deleted, so that that stuff never ha happens again. You know, it's like you're hitting the delete key on a lot of that stuff. Um, it, you integrate what you need to, and the stuff we don't need to. Ooh, you know, it's like going through old photographs. Yeah, I do not need that. <laughs> I do not need that around anymore. You know, we're like, okay, and you just take like the essence of the lesson. And uh, with the actual experience, hmm, some of that stuff none of us needs around anymore. 
so so there's a there's there's a, a center for integrating the lower expression, which I think is beautiful, because that's I, I'm teaching how to connect with and integrate a higher expression. So it's and and when I took a look at six dimensional self and <laughs> and uh, ugh, just is so incredible the things that have occurred on this mountain woof, you know you, you ain't seen nothing yet it's incredible but um, the as I looked at my six dimensional expression and higher you know this this little it's it's almost it's not a personality it's like this little thread through line of, of what my expression does in in all these different dimensions seems to be a little obsessed with the new what's available what's available how can we help how can we help people you know ascend you know ascension is an, an obsession of the universe you know this is not just and then we made 5d and we you know it's like it's it's ongoing not nearly as painful or as trying you know this is why this is the mastery experience you know and anyone who's sitting around going I am meeting with my councils and I've, I'm already there. Wow. You know, t tie into your higher expression and it's, it's kind of fun. You know, this is the fun part of the journey. We're like, ooh, what else is available? I know, my obsession, but still, you can tap in and see what else is going on. I, I seem to be giving that kind of, that flavor of assistance um, in many expressions. Kind of interesting. But uh, there's the integration of the, the lower self center. There's a complete um, healing. There's like a, a healing and adjusting to the newer vibration that needs to occur because the higher self, just like us, needs to uh, recalibrate after that occurs. And then um, there appears to be another, that's more of that concierge thing where it's, it seems to give you, um, ah, tell me, an overview of what is possible in that dimension, um, and for some, uh, meeting star brethren, yay, which is fun, uh, star family reuniting with uh, other masters who may have been part of your family monad, um, or the, the beings that have been helping you, you know, it's like an orientation center where, where people can come and gather, and you're going to be introduced to uh, the folks that were assisting you, the folks that you were assisting, you get to, you know, laugh and, and be in joy because here we are, oh my gosh, New Earth, oh, what do we do? N nothing, yay! <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's just, it's beautiful. And there's so much to explore there too. And there's so much to explore right here. You know, this is, the, the unification of higher and lower is, is occurring for Gaia as well and her fully fifth dimensional a full fifth dimensional expression is is merging just as we are you know our journeys are are parallel exactly the same as Gaia you know she has some adjustments we have ascension symptoms you know th these are her ascension symptoms when you see rapid um, increase in like in integration of different magnetics you know the Sun is about to is is changing as we speak but is about to you know make this massive change and and she's you know integrating that we're integrating that and now that we all have this beautiful solar gateway going on right now um, why don't we unify that and make it a little easier for everybody and send that golden liquid crystalline light out and and connect and just you know there's there, there's no intention to get rid of the dark <laughs> it's gone already it's uh, you know these are these are but shadows of of what was that we experience now. Again, fourth dimension is dream state. <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild. You know, you're like, but it, it feels so real. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Go ahead and explore this, this parallel self. That's fascinating to me. That's uh, a, a lot of people ask, we make a video about it? So here's your video about it. Go ahead and explore it. See what's, what the through line is in your expressions. And, uh, you know, as you open up, you do the expansion exercise, you open it up, call it forth and go, show me, what's, what's going on with ascended me? If you feel you have an ascended me, if you're experiencing that, um, go ahead and, uh, <laughs> go ahead and connect with that.
and uh, and and share it. It's fascinating to me. Tell me tell me what you see. So from me and beloved Shasta and uh, Spider Man here, uh, I wish you a beautiful day.